Hello Commanders! Today I brought you some news about the next update and a little something about our plans for the next few months. But before we begin, did you notice that right now you can get up to 50% more silver in battles? Hmm? We are running a special timed event that consists of two parts. First, increased battle rewards. You get more silver depending on your league. 20% more in Expert League, 30% more in Masters, and 50% more in Champions. The second part of the event addresses update costs, allowing your players to catch up with veterans faster. With the regular upgrade system, you get a steep increase in price after getting your items to level 8. For this event only, we smoothed out the bump and even out the curve all the way to MK3 to make it easier to climb. Read more about the event in the post link below and tell us how it goes for you. I bet you've seen some videos of this eerie looking robot already. The rumors are true. Dagon is coming to live server in 9.5 along with 6 light weapon slots. With this robot we wanted to encourage mixed builds, where you make two different weapons work in synergy. You will be able to try this out with the new weapons, Trickster and Tamer. Both are light slot machine guns, but each applies a different status effect. Trickster, for example, distributes damage over time, and Tamer applies rust. You can try and find out the combination that works best for you, or maybe even introduce the third ingredient into the build. In any case, you'll have enough slots to make it all work. You can already try out Dagon with Trickster and Tamer on the test server. Take a look for yourself and be sure to leave your feedback. Next on our list are bonus rewards for running faction-specific builds. Corporations hold a central role in War Robots lore, and we want to give them a tangible presence in the game. In future updates, you will encounter limited-time events that offer bonus honor points, and therefore silver, for playing with the gear produced by a particular corporation. The amount of bonus will depend on the number of branded items in your build. There will also be special faction-focused tasks and leaderboards. Next up, cross-platform squads. You will soon be able to team up with your friends from other platforms and even join custom games together. We've been waiting to make this announcement for quite some time. Now we are finally confident to say it. it's in the right technical state and happy to bring it to you in the near future. Yet another quality of life feature that we plan to release very soon is kill assist. If you pulverize a target but someone else takes the kill, it will still be recognized as a combat achievement, with the honor bonus to boot. Among other things, we are working on a revised friend system that will allow adding players to your friend list using their player ID, an array of measures aimed at battling unfair play, and a whole pack of technical improvements, which includes targeting system tweaks and performance optimizations. We aren't quite ready to share any data on these changes yet, as they involve some deep overhauling of the inner workings of the game and can be postponed as we iron out bugs. We just want to let you know that they are in our focus. We want to keep you posted. Be sure to check on the test server news in Warabus Discord to stay up to date. And see you on the battlefield, commanders.